what do we need to make an adjustment? An adjustment? Hey guys, I just wanted to make this major spoiler alert. If you have not seen the Netflix series Behind Her Eyes, please do that now because this video contains a lot of spoilers. So if it's something that you really do want to watch, watch that now and then come back. Don't worry, we'll be here. Let's get into the video. Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome to another Seth Say So video, Rants and Reviews edition. I hope you're all well. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Netflix series Behind Her Eyes. Again, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it because this video is going to have a lot of spoilers. So I don't want to spoil it for you, especially if it's something that you really want to watch. Um, but if you have, stay tuned and let's get into it. So Behind Her Eyes is a psychological thriller which came out last week, I believe, on the 17th of February. And the synopsis is, a single mother enters a world of twisted mind games when she begins an affair with her psychiatrist boss while secretly befriending his mysterious wife. So, <laughs> this has to be said. The series is a very, very, very... The next day very slow burn. It's a slow burner where you need to have patience plus VAT because honestly if you were impatient I think you'll probably switch off by episode two because you'll be thinking okay what is this like what's happening I, I, I don't get it like I, okay this is all happening and so but for those of us that managed to get through the series it does pick up from episode four Four, I will say. So basically episode one and three is a very very slow burner. We're just introduced to like various characters. So at the beginning basically we see Louise. She asks her neighbour to... I'm just briefly explaining. I'm not going to go through the whole series. But Somebody told a lie one day. Because I'm assuming those of us that are here have watched it already. So basically Louise asks her neighbour to babysit Adam who's her son because she's going to meet her friend at the bar. She goes to the bar, the friend messages her and says, I can't make it, basically she's caught up doing something. So Louise is left at the bar by herself. She gets up, she has a drink in her hand and she bumps into David. They don't know each other at all at this point, it's just at the bar and the drink spills all down his shirt. He doesn't kick up a fuss, he's just like, oh, it's fine, blah, blah. And then they end up conversing and they stay and have a couple more drinks. And then they share a kiss when they leave the bar. So I think it's the next day. Louise goes into work. She's making her way to the kitchen and then she sees David in her manager's office with his wife. And she ran into the toilet, locked herself there. And apparently she told her friend that she locked herself there for 20 minutes. Now, it may be longer because if you remember Louise's workplace, the workplace is really, really tiny. So if it was 20 minutes, they would eventually bump into each other. It might have been longer. Or maybe David was there as an induction just to see the place and maybe start properly the next day. Maybe. Anyway. So the next day, Louise comes in looking all stylish. She's got a little pencil skirt, a little blouse. Even her colleague was like, oh, you look nice. And she's like, mm, thank you. And then as fate will have it, she has ketchup down her top. So bless her, she tries to help her and it just makes it worse. But anyway, eventually Louise goes into david's office and david comes in and he recognizes her from the bar she was like oh i'm going to be your secretary story goes on we also are introduced to david's wife adele my initial reaction is that she's very weird something a bit off about her but at the same time i started to get the impression that she's obviously because she's being controlled she's just trying to keep she's just playing her role to keep the peace i know it sounds bad but that's the impression i got anyway david is controlling i mean there's control and then there's David's control. David needs his face <laughs> in a whole different section of control. I've never seen anything like it. He calls her at 2.30 every day on the house phone just to check that she's at home. At one point he watches her take her medicine. And the bit that really, I was just like, no, honestly, what kind of marriage is this? Is when she says, I love you. And then he says, I know. <laughs> I know. And then another point is when she says, you never say I love you back something along those lines and he goes I love you anyway and then there's another part where he ends up giving back her phone and her bank card that's a bit worrying as well it's like she can't even be trusted with her own items but anyway um so yeah this is what I'm saying it's a slow burner because all you see is mostly like Louise oh yeah speak about Louise she has these night terrors eventually we also see 
Louise and Adele bump into each other. <laughs> there was also a bit where David asked Adele what you're gonna do for the day and she's like, oh, I'm gonna go to the gym, then I'm gonna go to the cafe. And he's like, what? Do we need to make an adjustment? An adjustment? What? Yeah, smoking, what? <laughs> and, and actually he, I think the next day or so, or within the next few days, he gives her new medication and said, I didn't like the way you sounded on the phone. And there's one point actually, I don't know if anyone else picked it up, but Adele can chop herbs and vegetables without looking at the chopping board. I don't know how you can do that. She'll just be like... But that is scary. We also get to see how Adele's childhood was. So she was in an institution with Rob and they formed a friendship. They were really close. They were literally best friends. At one point I was like, oh my gosh, Rob is so sweet. He cares for Adele. He loves Adele. <laughs> anyway, we'll get to that. They share almost everything. He tells her about the dreams that he has. They teach each other stuff. <sighs> so then episode four is when it's taken up a notch. So this is where Louise is able to start taking control of her dreams by following the little book. So I forgot to mention that Adele does give Louise the little red book that Rob wrote um, to help take control of her dreams. So she's finally able to do so in episode four. We also see Anthony Hawkins, who is David's patient. He turns up at David and Adele's door and sees Adele with a black eye because in the previous episode, she was, I think she was looking for weed. She was looking for like substances basically in an estate and she ended up getting punched in the eye. Oh, some guys tried to bat her up. Anthony turns up at the door, sees her and he's like, did he do that to you? So Adele implies, oh, you shouldn't be here. And trying to look upstairs, trying to look scared when we know that David didn't do that. But anyway, so Anthony goes and tells his parents and his parents come to David's workplace and tells his manager and the manager speaks to David. So the manager calls Adele and she's like, <laughs> no. Also in the previous episodes, we start to see that David and Louise are having an affair and Adele starts to suspect something, but she doesn't say. And at one point in, I think this is episode four, David comes in after the conversation that he had with his manager about supposedly giving Adele the black eye he comes into Adele's house dashes his stuff on the table makes his way to the kitchen and pours himself a glass of what huh yeah and it's at this sort of point where Adele is able to have an out-of-body experience and actually sees the conversation that Louise and David were having saying that I love you, I can't get you out of my mind and all that. This is where Adele used the tactic, keep your friends close and your enemies close up. So when Adele finds out, she, she goes and work out at the gym. And when she's leaving, she tells the receptionist that basically she wanted to discuss Louise's membership so she should call her house phone around six. So David happened to be at home at six and he answered the phone and the receptionist, bless her, she was like, oh, I was just going to talk about, you know, um, Louise's gym membership and David was like what? So now he's putting two and two together and he's like hold on so Louise knows Adele. So he goes down to the kitchen Adele knows exactly what's happened and she's there chopping herbs and again she's not looking at chopping board she's just like and he's like where's your phone? <laughs> she's like and he gets the phone and he sees various messages between Adele and Louise and he gets angry. So he flips out goes I think he ever ends, eventually ends up at Louise's house. And then he goes, you know nothing about my marriage. And Louise says, well, I know you got all her money. Sis, mind your business. <laughs> so this freaks David out and he fires Louise on the spot, tells her to go and hand in her notice the next day, which she does. And instead of her going home to figure out what to do next, she ends up going to see Adele, who's then passed out well we think she's passed out anyway she breaks in to go and help Adele so she's shaking Adele trying to get her to wake up not knowing that she's actually having an out-of-body experience so she comes back into her knowing everything that's happened and pretending that you know she doesn't so they go into the kitchen to make a cup of tea Louise tells Adele that oh David's fired me and she's like oh don't worry I'll speak to him then Louise <laughs> not minded her business again it was basically saying to Adele you don't um you don't know David he's not who you think he is he, and I think she was about to say he's having an affair and Adele just, just and you're like whoa 
<laughs> she knows about the affair but she just doesn't want to hear it so in episode five and six that's where we really start to get you know into the story um so we start to see more of the relationship between Adele and Bob their friendship and when David comes to visit and how the dynamics between Rob and David but there were some clues I didn't really pick up on until later on but anyway so Louise does research on Rob she doesn't really find anything but she did find something to do with Adele's family the fire and how David was a suspect um, but his lawyer was like oh don't ask me any questions blah blah no comment blah blah she does more research into Rob's family and she managed to find a number for Rob's sister and she eventually I think she calls her or she gets a call, call back I, I watched it way too quickly and basically the sister's not too fond of Rob she's like he's a little shit basically <laughs> he doesn't care for anyone and he's been missing for like the past 10 years so now Louise still not minding her business she writes to the DCI post a letter so she also breaks into the office bear in mind she doesn't work there anymore gets the files and instead of keeping the file to herself she goes and give it gives it to Adele <sighs> I mean Louise is just something else at this point <laughs> very complex character at one point I think she's a people pleaser and another point I feel she just she feels like she's so involved she can't get herself out of it David finds out that Louise has got the file on Adele <laughs> and he asks for it back so Louise gives him the office keys but not the file he's like give me the file or things will get ugly and he also says stay out of my marriage and she says oh what you're gonna call the police so then she tells David that she's given the file to a <laughs> so then david says he wants a divorce from adele and she was like don't say things that you don't mean <laughs> so then we started to see that louise masters the out-of-body experience and she's able to go to her neighbor's house and look around so then now she starts to connect the dots that hold on adele knew from the very beginning everything that went on so she knew about ooh, she started to connect the dots and started to see that nothing was a coincidence and that Adele knew everything. So in the final episode, Louise goes to Brighton. She meets with a Marianne who is the coffee shop owner and Marianne tells her the, her story with her interaction with David and Adele. And at one point I thought um, Adele actually harmed the cat but she didn't, frankly. Louise calls someone and says, oh, tell him it's Marianne that's calling that's on her way back to London she meets him at King's Cross Station and basically says to David that your wife is a nutter a sociopath and a psychopath in the middle of King's Cross Station he's going off to Scotland and he also tells her the story about how Rob died so basically the story from David's point of view is that Adele and Rob were were taking substances and Rob overdosed and instead of Adele calling the police she dashed Rob down the well so this is where the plot twist occurs. Adele and Louise have a discussion on the phone. Adele says she knows about the affair that she's had with David and Louise said it's, you know, it's not too late. You can still stop Rob from going, in, going to Scotland and telling it all. Um, and she also told her that she wrote to the DCI, I believe. And basically Adele had enough of Louise and told her to F off. Adele writes a mini confession and um, messages Louise basically saying oh you know the world would be better without me sort of thing Louise rushes over to Adele's house um, and she starts to see that there's a fire she smashes the window trying to open the door but the door handles hot so she stays outside and then she does the technique that she read in Rob's little um, little red book and has her out of body experience so she manages to go into the house so Adele's body is just there because she's drugged herself up Louise's spirit up into the room she sees Adele. So now Adele has her out of body experience. So now her spirit's out. So now all their spirits is there and you can see the two colors. I think Louise's one was like green and I think um, Adele's one was blue. And before you knew it, Louise's spirit goes into Adele's body. And Adele's <laughs> spirit goes into Louise's body. She goes in. Okay, so the new Louise goes upstairs, injects Adele's body with substances and then brings her body out on the front door. Basically, Louise is dead and Adele's still alive because it's Louise's spirit that dies and Adele's spirit is living on. So Adele is now at Louise's house and she has a shower. She goes and picks up Adam, her son, from his dad. And now when Adam sees 
Louise. He sees his mum, but he's like, mm. but he can sense that something is off. And then we find the actual story. So the story is Adele was dead long ago. It's actually Rob that is living on and is still living on. One night, Rob and Adele agreed to do this body exchange just for fun and their spirits both come up and they exchange so now Rob's spirit is in Adele and Adele's spirit is in Rob and then as soon as it, the switch happened Adele wasn't feeling Rob's body and is that Rob's being the good sport and saying okay you know what let's switch back he's like no sorry you can tell that he doesn't like his life he hates his life he doesn't like his sister doesn't like his sister's boyfriend doesn't like his living situation the fact that he's always on you know abusing substances he just does not like his life and he he kind of envies because there was one point in i can't remember which episode but there's one point in the series where he says i will give everything up just to have your life basically so that was the clue and i was like oh my gosh that was the clue because this is when i think adele was at her house yeah at her family's house That's because there was a point where they went downstairs with the fire where her parents supposedly died and rob kind of said when they were sitting by the fire i think he said that he will give up everything just to have her life and so when he's got the opportunity that's what he did he went to go and live adele's life oh what's that <laughs> yeah and now rob is living louise's life <laughs> they go and get married and um david is like oh so where should we go for our honeymoon she's like oh let's go on a caribbean cruise and adam was like but you hate boats you've always said that you hated boats <laughs> and she's like well maybe i've changed rob is now living on adele's dead louise is dead and david has no idea <laughs> that's the story basically sorry i didn't mean to tell the story but it just had to be said um if you lack patience you would have missed the best bits which is from episode four yeah four to six was the best episodes i think i think six really took it to another level you definitely need determination to get through but once you get through you i think you'll be glad that you did because the plot twist was a plot twist and a half so it's a very very different and the moral of the story is don't be a louise mind your business and drink your water i'll probably give the series a seven out of ten because of the really really slow burner because bearing in mind it's only six episodes so it's like for three of that episodes to be like a really 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 slow burner is like maybe you could have maybe risked one episode rather than three three is a bit because it's literally half the series that was really slow i think it's a limited series because i was about to say oh maybe there should be a season two what else would they do maybe they could explore you know what will happen between david and louise's marriage would david still be controlling or would he be more relaxed um adam is already not feeling the new louise so we know that um is he going to confront her is, because he, adam is quite outspoken you can see that through this through the series that adam is quite outspoken he's not a child that holds back he will say as he sees it yeah and would rob continue to live on yeah i don't know tell me what you think do you think there should be a season two or do you think enough is enough one and done but yeah let me know and thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video share the video subscribe and comment down below and i'll see you all in my next video over and out